Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to download a font. I'm going to show you from Creative Fabrica, and then I'm going to show you how to install it to your computer so you can use it in Cricut Design Space. Now, this is a font that I do not have. I have the Creative Fabrica membership, so I don't have to worry about um, paying for this one, but they have plenty of uh, free fonts. If you go over here to Freebies and click on Free Fonts, you can see all the free fonts that they have. Lots of them. You can scroll through and check them out. Let's go back to this one. I do not have this font, so I'm going to go ahead and download this. When I download it, it's going to download to my computer. So you can see it right here. I'm going to click Open File, and then I'm going to Extract All. Browse, and I'm going to find my font folder, which is already right here, but I have, as you can see, lots of folders over here. But these are all my fonts. I have tons. Don't judge me. <laughs> Select folder because I'm already in my font folder. And if you don't have it, actually, let's just go ahead and I'll show you. Um, let's go, we'll just do new folder and I'll do new fonts. I'll just do it that way so that you know that you can create a font folder just like that. Okay, select folder and I'm going to click extract. So now that font has landed inside this folder. Now, if you have multiple fonts, like I showed you, I had a whole bunch. If you click on date modified, because sometimes they'll download and it'll go to the bottom of your list rather than the top of your list. If you click date modified, it, the font that you just downloaded should pop up to the top and then you'll see it. But like I said, um, you have an open type font and a true type font. When you install the fonts to your computer, you do not need both of them. I typically just go ahead and delete the true type font and we're going to install this one. Now when you download the font, if there is only a true type font, that's the one that you want to keep, obviously. But we're going to right click install for all users. This is going to install to my computer. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go blank canvas. Now if you have already, you already have your Design Space screen open, let me bring my grid back here, you're going to have to come up here to view and do a forced reload. Okay, so if you have something on your screen, you want to make sure you save your screen or your, you know, whatever your project is, but do a forced reload. You can either X out of Cricut Design Space completely and then log back in, or you can do a forced reload because your computer has just installed a font and now you need Design Space needs to know that you have it. So we're going to go to text. Go ahead and move this over here. You can see it bigger here. And we're going to go up here, font. We're going to go to system font because this is one that you have just installed. And what is it called? Ladybird? I already forget. Go back here, make sure what it was called. Ladybird. Yep. Okay. Go back over here. Okay. And right there is the font that we just used. Okay. So I hope that helps. I'm also going to link um, in the comments here a video I have that shows you how to use the little um, glyphs and things that are in the fonts. I, I believe that this font has the glyphs with it. So what you will do is you will look for this video that I have right here. It's going to show you how to use glyphs inside of Cricut Design Space. Again, it's something else that's really easy to use. And once you figure out how to do it, you're going to be doing it all the time. But I will link this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and ask. I'm always here to help. If you need some help, just let me know.